What's going on guys? Uh, I'm Cody here from Katmai Trophy Lodge and I'm here with James and John and we're going to talk about our favorite tools up here in Bristol Bay and that is our Stealthcraft boats. We have three of them up here and they're all kind of different and we like them all for different reasons. So what I'm in right now is my boat which is the 1854 Power Drifter and this one is a tiller. So we have this one set up with one full rod tray, one half rod tray, along with, it's got a 60-40 Merc four-stroke jet, and then I have my 10-foot Sawyer square top Dynalite oars, and this, this boat is really set up with all the rod storage and gear storage that you're gonna need, especially up here. We're always ready for swinging or bobber fishing or stripping streamers, anything. It's nice to have all this rod storage and gear storage to be able to switch up whenever we need to and um, do whatever we can. Because up here we have, at our river, we have all five species of Pacific salmon, along with world famous giant rainbows, Dolly Varden, Arctic char, Arctic grayling pike, so it's awesome to have all this storage. And it's all tucked away really nice and pretty and clean. And we can have our gear for the day, enough gas to last us forever, and everything just good to go and clean. And these boats are just some of the nicest boats to fish out of. And um, one thing that we have that's different from other boats is that you won't really see around here anywhere outside of the Midwest is we have a River Larry power winch system with heavy pyramid anchors so we can stop and fish wherever we want. And with those we have our nice, our nice hip, hip locks the front and the back so we can, you know, the waves or boats come by, we don't have to worry about anything. Everyone's safe and sturdy. Along with when you're fighting fish, you can lean on them and uh, it really helps us get the job done. Um, this boat is set up for, for a rower and two anglers and it's about perfect for that, but it can fit an extra person when it needs to and we can jump out of the boat just like old school steelhead style spay fishing. This boat also has a built-in bilge pump, headlights, um, running lights, anchor light, Everything's all nice and uh, built in. The headlights and, and um, anchor lights are all set up right in the front of the boat, tucked in. You don't have to unplug, plug anything in. They're built in all the time. Nice LED lights you can run in. That first light gets to the first spot. It's really awesome. Um, this boat has, these boats all have full false floors and built in bilge pumps so you don't have to worry about. Um, when it rains, uh, having a little bit of water sloshed around and get your gear all wet. Everything's nice and lifted and super comfortable no matter what the conditions are. Alright, so my name is Joe McCloskey. I work for Cat My Trophy Lodge up here in Bristol Bay on the Night Night River. Uh, Dave talking about the Stealthcraft 1654 Power Drifter with the 6040 Merc. Um, it's a tiller. You can also get in the console, but this tiller is super easy to work up here. It's an open area, kind of like a drift boat style. Uh, it's easy to cast in. It rows. It's the best drift boat I've ever, or jet boat, excuse me, I've ever rowed. Uh, the best features, I think, I love that tray. You put all your spay rods in it, and you can also put rods all under it, and they don't get stepped on. I like the big tray. You can also get smaller trays and half trays. Uh, caster brackets are really good to have out here, especially in this kind of water. It gives people a little easier place to stand and keeps them in the middle of the spine. Uh, the anchor is River Larry's. River Larry's anchor and uh, we're running a 75 pound anchor on it. It has no problem. Uh, these boats anchor better than any ones I've seen out here. This water, as you can see, is moving. <coughs> um, it has a secondary anchor system in it. If you want to be quiet or your anchor goes down, we have rope and pulleys. You just set it up the same way on the side. It runs from here and the cleats are here. Run all the way through to the tube and all the way out the front. Um, this is an extended uh, rower seat. It's got awesome storage in it. You can put all kinds of stuff in it. It's glassed in. That's a really cool option. Um, this box here, I have the same boat at home. Mine's open so you can, you can clean it in and out. This one was chosen to be glassed just like a drift boat. Uh, let's see here. I like this cast the deck and everything under it. You can put your gas tank and all that stuff. All the switches here work the bilge and the anchor, but you can get all, all kinds of options on it. 
Uh, this is one of my one of my more favorite options here. Is I like the, how this you can lock in these oars. Now you know sometimes when you're running or you, you know this is an awesome place to put all your thing. Keeps them safe and doesn't scratch the anchor or the, the oars or the floor. Um, spaghetti mat. I really like spaghetti mat. It kind of hides when it gets dirty. It kind of hides, and all you got to do is you pull it up and you wash it. It's awesome. Hi, uh, my name is James Johnson. I'm the manager slash owner of Cat My Trophy Lodge here in Alaska. Um, today I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of the 1860s Stealth Craft Power Drifter Sled. It's one of our favorite boats to run up here on the Knack Nick. It's really, uh, it's really versatile. It runs up, powers down, uh, grows green. Uh, as you see up here on the front, we have a uh, River Larry Power Winch that enables us to do lots of things that other people can't. runs outside of where anybody can wade. Uh, easily pulls up a 75 pound pyramid anchor. Uh, you got three hatches in the front for life jackets and any kind of fire extinguisher and stuff like that to get out of the way on the console. We have uh, headlights, deck lights, interior, exterior running lights, um, bilge pump, power anchor winch switch here in the front as well as in the back. Um, Stereo, dual speaker stereo here in the front, in case you want to jam little tunes on the water. Um, we have for a rower seat slash driver's seat, uh, we have a Yeti 65 with a, just a swivel seat mounted there. It is removable. Um, back here we've got the double box, comfortably sits uh, two guests if you have a third. You can sit right here in the rower seat when you're running. Um, pretty good sized box to put away any extra gear, rod holders, all the necessities. Um, Sawyer Dynalite oars, best oars in the biz. Um, got a 12 gallon gas tank back here in the back. They pretty much will get you wherever you possibly could need to go, along with battery all nice enough out of the way where it can't catch fly line. Um, on this particular boat, we have a 115 Mercury four stroke. Um, very quiet, very fuel efficient. Runs very, very, very well. Um, dual rod trays. This one actually has uh, tubes right there. You can stick full length spay rods in. You can stick up to about right here. You've got elastics to secure them down so they don't bounce around, cause any damage also rod holders up underneath on both sides so you know for all of us gear heads out here you could have about as many rods as you could possibly want to load down in this boat safely and comfortably stowed um that's pretty much it so uh i guess we'll get on out of here thanks